Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aquarius. So this is going to be a you and them love reading of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I do want to thank everyone who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated, and ordered personal readings. You all make it possible for me to bring you these messages. I appreciate you so much. So, I am recording this on August 20th. I ask these messages to be timeless and to bring you something you need when you need to hear it. So, let's get started. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What is the heart of the matter? What is going on in your daily life? Could be affecting the connection. And what is happening in your heart space? What intentions might you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome for the near future whenever you want to hear this message? The Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be leaving behind some drama, Aquarius. You could be putting the past in the past in a certain situation and moving on to calmer, easier times. Doesn't mean you're necessarily leaving someone or something. These are thoughts. Swords are thoughts. It can represent some sort of situation that's been dramatic or stressful that you're putting behind you, or could you could just be changing the way you think. You could just be like coming out of that energy of stressing about things. So we'll find out more as we go. Your person, the heart of the matter. Whoa, oh my gosh, way too many cards. What is going on in your daily life? happen in their heart space well oh my gosh so many cards keep trying to come out how are they feeling about their Aquarius how are they feeling what intentions might they have towards the connection and what is a potential outcome oh my goodness the near future whenever you're meant to hear this we have an ace of wands on the bottom of the deck Someone is interested in you, they are attracted to you, they're excited about you. If you're talking, they like talking to you. They wanna, I mean, I feel like they wanna get to know you better. They wanna see where this can go. Interesting, could be, could be something new with that ace there. Could be that you have recently sparked something or reconnected something, but, um, they are so interested in you, Aquarius. They're really excited. If you've recently started talking to someone, they're really excited to hear from you. Okay. Heart of the matter, we have the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could be significant there. But this is when you're holding on tight to something. And a love reading, this can mean that... Um, that, you, that you are hanging on to something, even if... Um, even if it's not fully satisfying, even if maybe you're holding on because you're worried there might not be something more, something better, but love is all about the flow. Energy has to flow. Everything has to flow. And this is someone who's holding on so tight. And you see how those pentacles are right over their heart chakra that, um, that it's hard to like let things flow. Sometimes we hold on too tight, we worry, we stress, and um, but 
I do have to say that's really positive for money and finances. You could be getting a raise or something, just got to say, with that being the heart of the matter. But there, I feel like when the Four of Pentacles shows up in a love reading, especially for the heart of the matter, this is someone that... Um, that you carry, like you carry the, like the thoughts of them, you carry this person in, in your heart. I don't know if things are really moving and happening right now because it's a card that's kind of still, but, but you are holding on. They've got the six of wands, Leo energy, and this is movement. This is actually very often someone returning after some kind of challenge, some kind of complex, some kind of difficulty because the six of wands comes right after the five of wands and the five of wands can be competition. It can be disagreements. It can be anything like that. It can be something that happened between the two of you, especially since I feel like there, you don't want drama in something. Um, but it could be something that they've been going through. Your person could have been dealing just with a lot of, a lot, um, they could have had a lot on their plate and um and things could have just cleared up and now they're really showing up now they really feel like they can they can make this happen once again this person is into you there's a lot of wands here there's a lot of fire there's a lot of heat there's a lot of attraction if you have been kind of holding on to someone thinking about about them wondering if they're interested the answer is yes they're definitely interested you've got a seven of wands in your daily life once again i'm seeing that anytime you have like something kind of crossing the heart space like the heart chakra in um in the tarot it does mean that someone's being a little bit guarded so although you hold on to this person and i do feel like there's something really positive here you're excited you feel like there's something really special about it there's something where you might be a little concerned to like let your guard down and and really trust that that this can happen i feel like there could have been some sort of past hurts or difficulties maybe with this person or maybe in other places in your life but it's got you maybe second guessing or rethinking or thinking about things in a way that you want to be sure. I just feel like you might might not want to put yourself just all the way out there till you know, till you know how this person feels. And with the seven of wands and it's showing up in your daily life, you could have a lot going on. I have to say that because it's your daily life card and the seven of wands can be like when a lot of people want your attention or a lot of people want your help, your services with work, or things are crazy, things are hectic, you know, and you have to decide what matters most. You have to make those choices. And sometimes you're the only one that can make those choices. I feel like very often in life, people have all kinds of ideas about like, what's your best choice? What's the best thing that you can do? But very often it has something to do with them. You have to make the choices. You have to make the decisions, Aquarius about what you want to focus your energies on. I do feel like um, you could have, you could have some different people interested in you. Um, Cause we got a couple of nights over here on this side, but um, somebody may be coming in with a lot of passion. Somebody may be coming in a little more romantic. Um, I do tend to read this as a one-on-one -on -one thing, but I just have to say you could have, you could have some different people um, interested in you. But there is someone that you are specifically interested in. And, and I feel like you're both feeling this the same about one another. Um, whether you've talked about it or not, you're both feeling the same. Your person. And the reason I say this is because you've got like two Knight of Wands facing right towards each other. Heat, interest, excitement, passion. Things could, could move really quickly. Um, and... If this is someone you've reconnected with, I do feel like there may have been some sort of challenge between the two of you in the past, but I feel like you're putting that behind you. But your person in their daily life has a Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, and it's facing right towards you. Sag um, sorry, Leo energy once again could be significant here. Sagittarius and Aries, of course, but I get a lot of Leo. Um, this is facing right towards you, right towards your energy, right towards your cards. And it's interesting because the six of wands is kind of going the other way. It's almost like they want to, they want to like know that you're going to, um, 
that you're going to be interested. It's almost like in the the six of wands is somebody who really wants success. Somebody who really wants to be accepted. And it's kind of facing the other way, which almost means like they might not come in or show you their feelings until they know, like they really know they have a chance. But I feel like you may have, um, the two of you may have communicated in some way that's got this person hoping. It's got them hoping that, that you are as interested as they are. And boy, they are so, <laughs> they're so into you, Aquarius. You don't even know. Oh my gosh. Um, but there's love. There's feelings. I'll tell you as we get there. In your heart space, you have the Queen of Swords. I love this. This is your energy. This is absolutely beautiful. Libra as well. And then Gemini, but um, Aquarius. With this being in your heart space, I feel like you... It's like, you know who you are, you know what you want, you know what you deserve. And I feel like you're, you're communicating or you're thinking about communicating. If you're thinking about communicating your needs, your, how you feel like really clearly, I would say go for it with this queen of swords showing up in your heart space. It's like, you know, you know who you are. And I was talking with a friend of mine, um, Medium Jenny Lee, if you look her up on YouTube, she's one of my best friends. And, um, and we were just talking and we were talking about love and like how we both think that the idea of like the twin flame, the divine connection, that sort of thing, like those really intense things or those people that like really finally get together and stay. Like we were talking about how rare it is. And, and I was like, you know, I don't think it's as it should be so rare, just those divine loves that really work. But, um, but to have them and to be in them, we have to like really love ourselves. We have to have that self self love. We have to be really clear about who we are to attract in someone who's going to love us for who we are. So I don't think it's like the love that is lacking so much as that the, what we have to do to be ready, you know, just, just being really clear and, and I know for a lot of my life, I'd been really guarded, really nervous, not really sure of myself. And it made it hard for me to love because when you're gonna love somebody and really let someone in, you gotta let them see you. And if you're not sure about yourself and if you're nervous or if you've been through some things that you haven't really sorted out and someone like comes in and they wanna get close, it's real easy to, to have your guard up because when to love, you, you've gotta let someone in all the way. and. You've got to know that you're ready for that. And I feel like maybe in the past, Aquarius, you weren't quite in that place. I feel like you are now. Even though she's got her sword here, it's not in front of her heart space. Her heart is more open. I feel like you're getting more clarity about who you are. And interesting, your person in their heart space has the moon and the nine of cups. Secrets, wishes secrets and wishes. They are secretly wishing for you up one side, down the other. Once again, you just have no idea. Like they're so, like they're so into you. You are like, you're it. You're what they've been looking for, what they've been hoping for. I don't know that they've told you yet. Whenever you get the moon showing up, Pisces energy also could be significant with that moon and, and the nine of cups. Um, also some Scorpio and, um, and cancer, of course, but this person, they, I feel like they have had some confusion because they felt like from the time you guys met that this was it, that, that you were the one, you were what they were hoping for. And I feel like there's been some kind of challenge. There's been some kind of disconnect. There has been something that's got you kind of on your own over here, holding on, but not really sure, you know, kind of on your own. And then really want to tell you how they feel, but kind of face in the other direction. Maybe, maybe a little bit afraid to be vulnerable. Maybe, maybe wanting to know for sure. But during this time, whatever has been going on, you've been getting some real clarity about yourself, Aquarius, who you are. And I feel like your person is picking up on it. Um, 
but I do feel like they've had some confusion. They've had some confusion about on the relationship, some confusion around their feelings for you and your feelings for them. And, and I feel like that's changing. I feel like they're sorting that out a little bit. Um, and your intentions, you've got the Four of Cups and the Knight of Wands. The Four of Cups can be a missed opportunity. It can be something that maybe didn't work out. It can be not knowing how someone's feeling. It's like, how can you reach for that cup of love if you don't even know they're offering it? You know, if you're, um, if you've got your mind on other things. In this Four of Cups, this person's a little more aware. So you've got this Four of Cups, which means this could have been something, something that you really thought was going to go someplace and something may have may have slowed down, may not have worked out, but I feel like now you know, like you know you have this, this chance and you've got the Knight of Wands. This is someone you're interested in. And like I said, two Knight of Wands, I don't know if I've ever seen this, facing right towards one another in their daily life, your intentions, um, you guys could be talking, like you could already be talking, you could be texting back and forth, it could be really like some heated texts between you, or they could have been in the past, but there's a lot of attraction here. And attraction is great, but with attraction for something to really work, you need to have some, some emotions, some feelings. Once again, we have this person in this Knight of Cups energy, it's facing a little bit away. This person has this cup. They have this love. They want to offer it. They want to come in. But I just feel like they're a little confused about their feelings, about your feelings. And they want to know um, if they're going to come forward and make this offer. I feel like this person wants to know that you feel the same way. That's, that's what I'm really getting from this. Because it's all there. All the love. All the interest. I just feel like they're they're a little unsure about what to say, how to come forward, how to make this offer, but the love is right there. So, and your potential outcome, you've got the Magician, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Oh, and um, that was Leo and um, Scorpio there for those nights. Um, and then the Four of Cups, Cancer Energy. So... We have the Magician. Now this is what's going on on your side. The Magician, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles for a potential outcome here. Aquarius, you're, you're manifesting something because you're opening your heart. Here you're getting really clear in your heart space with about who you are and what you want. And I feel like that's giving you like the strength and the courage to have that vulnerability that maybe you weren't ready to have in the past. Because look at this Queen of Cups and your potential outcome. Her heart is wide open. She is ready for this love experience in a way she's never been ready before. And I feel like it's coming towards you because I see you standing here. But I feel like you're accepting this cup. Do you see this Queen of Cups and the way she's holding this cup? It's almost like there's this Ace of Cups that was coming towards you that maybe you didn't realize in the past. And maybe you felt like you missed it or they missed it. But look at you here in the potential outcome. You're holding that cup. And why? Because you manifested that cup. That's incredible. There's something that you are doing. You are shifting some energies, Aquarius, by getting clear about yourself and it's shifting this connection. This is someone you do have genuine deep feelings for with the Queen of Cups. And I think they've had a lot of feelings for you, but I think that they were a little, a little nervous, I have to say, about expressing it. But with this Knight of Cups, they do want to tell you. You've got a Three of Pentacles. I almost wonder if this is someone that you work with or know from like school or like that have like similar interests or something like that. Um, you or them might be talking to each other um, about something that is like work related or maybe in the past or something like that. Talking about something. Um, it may almost seem like a little businessy or something, but there's... There's some love 
in the mix, whatever this is. And I feel like they want to see you. They want to collaborate. They want to get together. Three of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Magician for me, I get Aries and um, and Gemini. That, that's me as a reader. But um, but you guys might be even getting together for some other reason. But there's a lot of there's a lot of feelings, and along with those feelings, there's there's a lot of attraction here. Your person is figuring some things out, Aquarius. And this could have been, I mean, if you've known them for a while, this could have been a long time coming. Not for everyone. Obviously, you all are in different connections. You have to trust. This is the person you're thinking of. This is the person you want to know about. Um, you have to trust your heart on that one. But your person, for the potential outcome, has the judgment card, the king of wands, and the world. So I feel like they were kind of coming in with a little bit of night energy. Maybe starting with some passion, a little bit of heat, maybe a little guarded with their feelings, but wanting to open up, realizing they have feelings for you. But now they're coming in like the king of wands. Sagittarius energy can be significant here. Um, and then Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus for that world card, all the fixed signs. But with the judgment card, this is a moment. This is a moment of decision. This is a moment of awareness. This is a moment of recognition. If you if you resonate with a divine or twin flame connection, this is someone um, that you are divinely connected to, having the awareness that it is time with that King of Wands to come forward. Obviously, that's not for everyone. These are general love readings, so take what resonates. But either way, this is a moment of decision. This is a moment of putting the past in the past and and coming together in a new way. And I feel like with the world, some kind of cycle has ended. And this is this is a new moment. The judgment card and the world are both about the ending of a cycle so that something something new can begin, something positive. Um, could be crossing some kind of distance to see someone or be with someone. Definitely have divine help. This is, this is angels, this is guides, spirit guides, what have you, that are speaking to your person. I, I have to tell you, your person is seeing some signs, they're seeing your name, they're hearing songs. Someone specifically saw like a wildflower that reminded them of you, obviously not for everyone, but, um, but this person is seeing signs of you everywhere. It's because the universe is getting their attention and they are they're coming forward with a new confidence and it's because you've opened up your heart here and gotten really clear about who you are and and this is something that um that you're both ready for in a new way you know what i said about the people being guarded well, no one is guarded in these final cards. These are these are hearts open. And anytime you see um, people that are unclothed in the tarot, you are looking at people being authentic, people being genuine. No more no more secrets, no more hiding. If they've got this moon card, if they've been kind of holding back like their feelings with this Knight of Cups and the and the Nine of Cups, wishing for you, thinking of you, falling for you, but maybe like being like nervous to say. Um, now with this King of Wands, they've got that confident, like they've got that confidence, and maybe a confidence they didn't have before, and they are coming all in as their true selves, and um, and that's the best way to come in, and it's because you you figured. You figured out some things, Aquarius, and you've you've raised the bar on energy in connections, um, and you've drawn in something that's that's really right for you. So, I love it. I love this reading for you. It's one of my favorite readings of the month. Um, 
I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love you to put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. If this resonated, if something felt like yours, I would love to hear. If it didn't resonate, then check one of your other placements. Um, sun, hmm, Venus, rising, Mars. Like my Mars and Moon are in Capricorn, and I get a lot from Capricorn readings. I'm Aquarius rising, so I definitely identify with the Aquarius. And, and then I'm an Aries, so... Um, love that. <laughs> I get a lot of readings first, but, uh, um, but there's definitely something that is shifting and something that is changing in this connection. And this is someone that is coming in in a new way that they've never come towards you before like this. So I love it for you. Um, if you're interested in personal reading, details are in the description box. My website is cherryjanice.com. Got all kinds of options there. Love you, Aquarius. Thank you. And I'll talk to you all soon.